If you are having issues uploading 4K video to YouTube, I believe I may have the answer for you. I was having this issue even though I was uh, exporting true 4K video. I found out what the issue was. I originally suspected it was a YouTube conversion issue, but that turned out not to be the case. If you look at this video, I uploaded this three days ago. This video came from a DJI Mavic Air 2 drone and it was true 4K when I imported it into my video editor. But if you look now under settings of YouTube quality, 720p is the maximum resolution I can play this video at. It should have been 4K. I suspected YouTube was the issue. As it turns out, I was wrong. I was the issue. I use Adobe Premiere Elements 2021 to edit videos, so I'm going to show you what I had to do. It was very easy, and if you do not use this video editing software, I'm sure that whatever video editing software you use probably has the same kind of settings, so this is what you'll need to do. Uh, I'm going to add media, go to files and folders. This video right here was taken off of my uh, drone today. It's a true 4K video. I'm going to drag it down into the editing track, and I'm going to show you the properties for this video, just so you can see, are... 3840 by 2160 at 60 frames per second. That is a true 4K video right there. Once you load the video and you edit it however you want to, get all your editing done and you're ready to export your work to the desktop or wherever you save them, up in the top right hand corner, I'm going to go to export and share. And now if you look at this video, the export settings are 1280 by 720. That is not 4K settings. Even though this video down here that I added to the, to the track is a 4k video when I go to export it it's going to export it at 1280 by 720 that was the problem super easy to fix you see these tabs right here click on the one that says devices and make sure you choose computer the first time I went in here it was set on uh, 1080 HD 1080 so I had to set it to 4k ultra HD now when you look at the uh, settings for output it's 3840 by 2160 at 60 or the bitrate 60 megabytes per second, but the uh, frame rate is 59.94, other, otherwise 60. That is a true 4K setting, so I'm going to give this video a name of 4K test. I've chosen to save it to my desktop. I'm going to click save. This is uh, just telling me I didn't add any audio. I already know that for testing purposes. I did not add audio, so I'm going to choose yes, and it's going to export now. It's only going to take about four minutes to export this particular video because it was originally only a two-minute video. Uh, you'll notice when you do this your export time is going to dramatically increase the reason for that is because you're now exporting in true 4k ultra HD I'm gonna click cancel on this one uh, this is only for testing purposes to show you what you need to do to fix it so let me get completely out of here and I'm gonna show you two videos that I did earlier these two videos right here are called Falmouth 4k and Falmouth Final Cut Falmouth Final Cut was a video I did before I figured out how to fix the problem so I want to show you the file size on that video is 551 megabytes. I thought that was a 4K video, but it is not. I did the same video again with the true 4K settings. That video export took about two hours, and the file size on that video is 4.76 gigs. The reason for the incredible size difference is because now that's a true 4K video. And even though the first one that is not true 4K, even though that's a beautiful video, there is no comparison to how it looks compared to that 4K one. That's the fix. That's all there is to it. Now you can upload the true 4K video to YouTube, which will take quite a while to do, but it will finally have the 4K option on YouTube. If this video helped you, please consider giving my video a thumbs up and possibly subscribing to my channel. I appreciate you if you do. Have a great day.